Hi everybody and welcome to a very quick Google Analytics video tutorial. I'm going to start doing little five minute tutorials and putting them up on my blog every week or so. Uh, this one is actually a bit of a revamp of an old one I did on a, using the old Google Analytics interface which was replaced about six to twelve months ago. Uh, and I'm just going to talk about how you find exactly what it is that's generating traffic to your website. And that's the traffic sources area of the site. So here you're just seeing the new Google Analytics dashboard. If you still need to set up Google Analytics, I do have a tutorial that, for the most part, it's current enough, it'll, it'll get you through the process, and I'll have a link to that uh, in the blog post that contains this video. So if you click on traffic sources here, let's say I want to see what's driving traffic to conversationmarketing.com. Take a look here. I clicked on traffic sources. This shows my overview. It shows everything that's sending traffic to my site. I'm not going to talk about search engines this time because I'm going to do search analytics as my next short tutorial. I'll just click on referring sites. This shows all the websites that are not search engines that are sending traffic to my site. That does include image search and it will include some elements of Google that Google Analytics doesn't consider a search engine. And I'll talk more about that another time. Um, but let's say there's a few that jump out at me here. Cracked.com certainly jumps out at me. That's the big humor website. So I'm going to click on Cracked.com here to get more information. Now notice Google Analytics shows me the exact page that sent me the traffic. And if I click this little double square here, it says view this link, it's going to show me the page on Cracked that sent me the traffic. A few things that jump out at me right away. First of all, this page got 7,100 digs, which explains why it's still sending me traffic. And if I scroll down, I don't know if I'm going to be able to quickly and easily find the link to my own website in here, but I'll keep looking. Uh, let's see here. But they're basically writing about how they zap people who link to, who plagiarize content. All right, well, I know my link is in here somewhere. If I really wanted to find it, I would do a quick uh, view source and do a search for it. Uh, but we know that this page is sending me traffic, all right? We also know how many pages per visit it's generating for me, about 1.1, about 35 seconds on site. So now what can I do with this information? Well, I know what page they're going to, or actually I can find out what page they're going to. By drilling down again, I click on crack.com, and instead of referral path, I'm going to change the dimension to landing page. The landing page is the page they come to when they click on the link on crack.com. So here's the page they land on. So now I'm going to switch windows really quickly. I'm going to paste that link into my browser. So here's the article that's bringing me the traffic from crack.com. What can I do when I know that, these, that this particular page is generating traffic for me? Well, for one thing, I can put more stuff at the top of the page that I think might keep people on my site. For example, a few related posts. Uh, images from a few related posts. I might even put something here saying welcome cracked visitors uh, if people are coming in there. But most important, I'm going to try and make the most out of this page by taking stuff like this, these related posts, other posts you might like, and, and putting it somewhere more prominent in the article. Other dimensions I can check to see who's coming to my site, uh, who's coming to my site from crack.com and learning more about them. Um, I can look at visitor type, whether they're new or returning visitors. So Cracked is sending me a lot of new visitors, which is good. And I can look at things like source and medium. In this case, I don't really care because I know the source and the medium. The source is Cracked.com, the medium is website. And of course, you can always look at referral paths. On some, in some cases, you'll see multiple referral paths. That's the last bit I'll show you here. You see how I'm getting a lot of traffic from StumbleUpon just this month in the last 12 days or so? Let's drill down on StumbleUpon. Here's all the different referral paths from StumbleUpon. Now, refer.php and toolbar and search, you know, those are kind of, those aren't that helpful to me because of the way StumbleUpon works. Um, but this one, Tag25 Marketing, that's showing the top 25 posts on StumbleUpon in marketing. And it's showing actually two pieces on my site. So I could then take these two pieces and do some things with them to generate a little more interest because people are spending an average of zero seconds on the site when they come to me from there, which is not great. <laughs> so I could do a little bit more there. 
Um, that's it for my very short tutorial on checking on referring site traffic. Like I said, the next one I do will be all about search analytics. Thanks.